Hi everybody, my name is Mariah Benford and it's a wonderful pleasure to be able to deliver a message to you all, a group of extraordinary people, our future social workers, and to do this while being amongst the graduating class of 2022. As both the chapter's policy intern and a member of the National Association of Social Workers, I am more than delighted to share a few words with you all in this capacity. I'm going to start off with a quote that I knew was perfect for my time with you all. It begins, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. This is a quote by Maya Angelou. Think back for a second, back to the time that you had to submit your MSW application to your respective university. Thinking back to my experience, I recall that I couldn't exactly tell you what being a social worker meant, let alone inform you of anything social work related that I had done in my lifetime. I only knew that I felt strongly about being here. I've had a passion for relationship building and advocacy since a young age. I've even been presented with awards from the U.S. Senate, recognizing me for the community service I've led and done in my hometown, the city of Southfield. But I still hadn't been convinced that I knew what social work was, if I was qualified or could ever identify as a social worker, and if I could ever successfully serve as a social worker as a Black woman, still not having a clear understanding of all of what social work could be. Shortly after my admittance to the University of Michigan School of Social Work, which was towards the end of my undergraduate degree, I finally had a better understanding of what social work was, while also understanding that to do this work, I had to get familiar with the idea of courage. This happened when one of my strongest mentors within the School of Social Work, Colleen Kareem, passed away in early 2021. And as a four plus one sociology and social work student, along with being a first generation college student, I knew I had to find a way to develop a unique type of courage for the fall that I firmly believed only she could coach me into having. She saw greatness in me, and I wasn't sure if I could get there on my own. I want to take time to acknowledge and remind you of the greatness that someone sees in you, whether they're here with us today or not. There's so much greatness inside of each of us that we may not be able to see at times. And sometimes all it takes is for someone to identify the shine or gl glimmer of light inside of us and make us feel that we are capable of achieving so much more than we can see. You have worked very hard to get to this point, allowing for the vision that's planted over your life to begin to come to fruition. Never forget that those you are inspired by are oftentimes inspired by you. I'm inspired by you. So here I was. Finally, the week of orientation, I then told myself, you need to have the courage to be who you really are. You need the determination to boldly stand in the face of adversity. You can't be so afraid to do things the wrong way that you stand in that fear for a lifetime. You have to have the confidence to ask the right questions, the confidence to learn things, and the confidence to learn things and do them your way. From that point forward, authenticity had been at the root of the experience I wanted to have at the University of Michigan School of Social Work. I was empowered by owning my difference, owning my style, and making good connections. Ultimately, I really had a, good really had a great time and I ended up enjoying myself. I'm officially a two-time Michigan graduate. I represent one of the few of the first sociology and social work four plus one cohort completing four years of undergrad with the aforementioned major and one year within my School of Social Work program, studying policy, political social work, management, and leadership. I was the first in my cohort to pursue the aforementioned policy pathway, and I am currently the first sociology and social work student to graduate within this specific track. So take it from me, do not let fear stop you. Don't be afraid to follow your heart and step in a direction that many are not able to identify as successful because only you can determine that for yourself. There is power in trusting yourself and allowing your passions to be free, creating opportunities for others to do things in a new way as well. If you're able, please recall the quote by Maya Angelou again. I believe that while on our missions, 
We get the opportunity to jump and land in moments full of humor, if we're able, as we both first sit and celebrate with one another, and secondly, sit and cry together. I believe that when we take that leap, we get the opportunity to sit and dream together. Our passions and goals are fueled by one another as we find time to connect in the midst of a storm. We end up dancing while in the midst of a storm, laughing while in the midst of a storm. And while others may see this as danger, we learn that there is a positive alternative to that word called courage. Now give yourself a hug if you're able and say compassion. Every one of us has the ability to show some type of compassion. And I'm sure that you've learned a little bit about this in your programs. If you haven't yet, stay tuned. I'm here to tell you to rewrite the recipient address every now and again, and give yourself the very gift that you selflessly give others. Give, your, give yourself space to be creative, to enjoy your passion, to show compassion, and to thrive. All things that I know you are more than capable of demonstrating and owning. Once I gave myself the opportunity to show up authentically, I was able to navigate challenges with a strong sense of dignity. Yes, the tears fell from my eyes. Yes, I struggled. Yes, I succeeded. And yes, I failed. Even if fear tried to sit in the driver's seat, I reclaimed my place by knowing that if I had to do something intimidating, I would still make sure that I got it done. Sometimes you have to say, I'll do it afraid. Ultimately, please don't deprive the world of your style of doing things. You are naturally going to grow and evolve. You have to simply allow that process to begin. That process starts today with you stepping into the fullness of who you are, believing that you can do it. You don't have to create stress over wanting to know that you're doing it right. You just have to believe in yourself to get the task done. Yes, stepping outside of your comfort zone may be challenging, but yes, there are great opportunities that can become available to you once you do. You might as well build community and have wonderful laughs with the wonderful people you end up surrounded by, such as your loved ones, the people sitting next to you right now, your colleagues, your friends, and your guardian angels. Remember, there's always someone that is inspired by you. This has been my time with you all today, and please know that it has been a wonderful pleasure to speak with you all about the importance of having your own style, reminding you to have the courage to make decisions that may sound scary. It's been a pleasure to remind you to be committed, to be consistent, and ultimately empower you into knowing that there is power in seeing things through to the end, just as we did to my fellow graduates. So as I bring my message to a close, I hope that you remember the words that I spoke to you today. What are they again? On the count of three, let's say together, thrive. One, two, three, thrive. On the count of three, let's say passion. One, two, three, passion. On the count of three, let's say humor. One, two, three, humor. And on the count of three, let's close by saying style. One, two, three style thank you all for being such wonderful listeners thank you for your engagement if you were able to and thank you to the national association of social workers michigan chapter for this wonderful opportunity this has been one of my greatest honors and highest pleasures for today see you later for tomorrow good luck and forever go blue